through to beer review. And today we're going local. That's right, we're going local down to Salisbury, Maryland, to Evolution Craft Brewing. And we're going to have their lot number six, DIPA. Lot number six, DIPA, is a beer that they just started to bottle this year. It was on tap for a long time. And while it was on tap, it was 9.3% ABV and 75 IBUs. Well, they've dialed back the ABV as a lot of breweries do when they begin to bottle something. And now it's 8.5% ABV. So, it's a true DIPA, the seasonal beer for the end of winter, beginning of spring. This bottle is super fresh at time of uh, viewing. It's only 10 days old. It was bottled on the end of February, and I'm going to get in the glass now. So, let's get the cap popped on this and see what we got going on. We've got lovely Evolution Craft Brewing Crown. Nice hiss off the top, and man, I can smell the hops wafting off the top of this one. Now, lot number three, their IPA that I reviewed in the past, I really liked, and it was a big pine bomb. So, let's see what we got going on with this one. Oh yeah, this is a darker color than the lot number three than I recall from memory. What memory I have left after drinking beer all the time, but who's to say? Um, all right, we've got a quickly formed head. This one is hazy, got a little bit of floaties in it. Not much, just small particulate. Um, darker amber color, amber gold color sort of, not copper. Um, solid two finger head, super tight uh, bubbles. A little bit rocky and suzzy up at the top, but not much. When you swirl it, you get a nice glass lacing clinging to the top, and you're already getting um, some alcohol legs rolling down. So you see, you take a look at this one. Really lovely beer. Classic DIPA look of the darker malt side. Mm -hmm. We recently um, reviewed not that long ago the Enjoy Bye Bye Stone, and that was lighter because they used a whole bunch of you know uh, crystal malts in that. So let's get a nose on this and see what we got going on. This one's dank, guys. Wow, really nice aroma. Big pine. Citrus and some tropical notes as well. Wow, really inviting smelling beer. I like dankness in a beer. The aroma of this beer reminds me of a lot of a beer that I mentioned often that I really like, which was New Belgian and Alpine Collab beer, which was their Supa IPA. And it's got, when I say that dankness bell, in cannabis sativa, which is marijuana, and also hops, which are in the same family, they have some of the same chemical compounds in their resin, which is the base that gives you know, beer its flavor and marijuana its active characteristics. And that's why they say dankness when they talk about the smell of both of those items. So let's get a ta uh, taste on this and see what we got going on. The aroma is really inviting. Wow, big tropical fruit, bigger than I thought. Um, as the nose would suggest, it was going to be a pine and a dankness bomb. It's not that. There's big tropical fruitiness in there, pineapple, citrus, and then the finish is sort of a grassy herbal pine attack, and it's nice and dry. And there's not as much dankness in the taste as there is the aroma, but it's a really nice amount of dankness in there. The malt bill that's in this brings really good balance to the game, and it's a very tasty beer. Wow, I'm geeking out on this again. Yeah, it's a local Maryland beer. The bottle's dated and all that, but what grade are we going to give this beer? Well, Rape Beer's given it a 96, and Beer Advocate's given it a 93. I'm going to go with a 96, like uh, Rape Beer's talking. I think it's a real high A, really tasty beer um, at 8.5%. You don't taste a bit of the alcohol. The mouth feels there. It's big and thick enough. It's not a big, full, thick, sticky, you know, sort of a stout, but it's that medium full feel that you expect from a double IPA. Good mouth coating, and it's a mouth like watering experience when you drink the pine and resinous and sort of tropical fruits in this beer. So, anyways, guys, awesome beer. If you can find it, I don't know if you can because the distribution is really limited on this. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Um, if you've had it, let me know. I'm interested to see what your opinion of it is. I'm really liking it. I'm giving it an A and I'm drinking local, so I'm a happy guy today. So until the next time, guys, remember what I always say. Think globally, drink locally. 
support the craft beer movement. Let's keep this thing growing. Keep supporting guys like Evolution Craft Brewery who started out as a little itty bitty thing in, in Delaware and moved to a bigger brewery in Salisbury, Maryland. And um, let's keep this thing growing, guys. Thanks a million for watching. I appreciate all your rates, comments, subscriptions, etc. Until the next time, what's that? That's a big piece. Hey!